Hi, I'm the woodpecker today. I'm making a head for my tripod. In my last episode, I managed to finish the body of my tripod. In this one, I'm going to make the head and the finishing touch. The first thing I do is cut a piece of cherry and make the head with it. I begin with the fixed part of the head. After cutting all four corners, I turn the cylinder. When it's round, I drill a three-quarter inch hole in its center. And before going any further, I check if this will fit over the broomstick. Since it's a perfect fit, I can cut this to length. Go back to the lathe and drill the central pivot hole. Then I turn over the piece and give it the shape I want. This is what I ended up making. But if I want a real tripod, I also need a pivoting and tilting head. So I use the rest of the cherry and cut some box joints. Next, I cut this to length. And eventually, this will end up here but I would like it to be round like the base. So I check it on the lathe and drill the pivot hole. To help me turn the bottom, I cut the corners and remove some wood. Now I can turn it round. Okay, this doesn't hold that well on the chuck. I break my first blank. I cut more box joints and turn its bottom. <laughs> it takes me a lot of tries to have something half decent. But when I'm fed up, I drill the pivot hole. If you wonder how many times I made this, well, five times. You can see the four broken ones and the one I'll use. This is what it will look like, but I still need to make the other part of the tilting mechanism. So it's time to cut more box joints. But this time I widened the curve just a bit because I don't want too tight a fit. Now I can put both pieces together and drill the tilt pivot. Next I make both of them round. This is perfect, but some sides are not aligned with each other. I fix this with the drum sander. Then I cut a bolt. This will be my pan pivot and glue it in place. This will work just like this, but I have too much wood. I cut it to size. On my tripod, I can remove and put my camera quickly with the wooden base I made. I need to make something similar. I begin by cutting a wide groove on each side of the top of the head. 
Next, I move the fans and remove in between the grooves. When I try this, I can see mm, that's a little bit too narrow. I fix this right away. I also remove the bottoms and perfections. It's crazy how much I use those miniature tools. To hold the camera in place, I need to cut a piece of wood at 15 degrees. Next, I glue it in place. Since it's mostly end grain, I use epoxy to glue this. To hold those two pieces together, I use this brass rod. But I need to make wooden dubs. So for this, I'm going to use those. The first thing I do is to cut smaller pieces. Then I drill a hole in the center of one and glue the rod inside. For the other side, I only turn it round. Then I trace a nut shape on it and remove some wood so I can push a nut inside. Job well done. Now that the epoxy is cured, I can find the length I need and cut the rod. After removing all four corners, I turn another knob. Last thing to do is to make some threads at the end. Now that the epoxy of the wedge is dry, I can plane the wood straight to the rest of the head. On my tripod, the base is held by this lever. So I need to do something sticking out of the head. I cut a piece of wood and stick it to the head. While the glue dries, I trace the shape of the lever and cut it. I finish its shape on the center. I drill a small hole in the center of the lever. Then I transfer this position on the head. Now I can drill a pilot hole, but closer to the base than my mark. After making a big hole in the lever, I can try it in place. <laughs> this works, but I can't remove the base. I mark what I need to remove and remove it. This is great. Everything is going well. But tripods also have an arm to guide the camera. I also make one. I begin by drilling a hole right through in the end to the size of the brass rod. The rod will end up like this. I need two more knobs to hold the rod in place. It's done, but I need to mark where the stopper will be glued. But before gluing it in place, I file the rod a little so the glue will have something to grab to. And glue the stopper. Just like last time, when I did the other knob, I trace a nut shape and remove some wood. After pressing the nut in place, I can thread the brass rod. Uh, this is ugly. I trace a half circle and cut some wood. I still need to turn the handle.
It's done. I just need to measure the length of the brass rod, cut it, and glue it inside the handle. All the pieces are done. I just need to wipe two coats of Danish oil on them. I wait 24 hours before applying the second coat. But when the finish is dry, I drill the holes to lock the last section in place. Then I tap the wood. And now I can assemble the tripod. On the leg, I use a carriage bolt to hold the second section in place. And another bolt for the last section. The tripod on its legs. I can also put the broom in place. After that, I can assemble the head. This is quite simple. I place the two pieces together, add a washer, and screw a nut. Then the head can go in place. I also put together the tilting part. But I notice that the legs can move too easily on the floor. To fix this, I drill a hole in the middle of some small playing bones and slip them at the end of the legs. <laughs> this is much better. But looking at my plastic knobs, I hate them. I'll make some in wood. I begin by cutting some pieces of maple. Then I stick them together in a pack of three with double-sided tape and drill a hole in their middle. Next, I give them a nicer shape. Then I trace the shape of the nut and remove some wood. After pushing the nut in place, I remove some wood in the back. Now I can change this ugly knob. Next, I do the same thing for the other knobs. But on those ones, I use a bolt instead of a nut. <laughs> this adds a nice touch to my tripod. And while I'm at it, I'm going to do something to hold my microphone receiver on the tripod. On my normal tripod, I modified a bolt so I can clip the receiver on it. For my new one, I just need to cannibalize a clip from another tripod drill a hole and screw the clip onto it. Now my tripod is totally finished. When I look at it, I'm happy. It's almost invisible in my shop with all the wood around. I have all the same functions that a commercial tripod has, but I can film from higher up and even way higher. Okay, at this height, I need a step ladder to move it around, but now I can take aerial shots of anywhere in my shop and in every single episode of The Woodpecker. Sorry.